Mass. Rick Shaw here on Saturday the 7th of October 2023. Still fighting these muscle spasms in my back. And of course this stupid Sony stuff. I did that short just to let you know I'm still kicking. Uh, there was a thing on PlayStation say there's an update. So I went there and you load it and then you open it up and it's got nothing to do with update. It's just a stock Sony page. You know, and you can click on whatever camera. You can click on any of these cameras. It doesn't give you nothing. It says download. It doesn't do anything. So, you know, they, they need to get off of that tweaking that they're doing down there and get back to work. It really kind of ticks me off that I've got, you know, almost $1,000 worth of cameras here and they're worthless. You know, until I get a laptop and I can plug them in. I, I tried to do the plug-in from here to these different phones. It just doesn't work. For some reason, when you load it to these phones, it runs for a little bit, and then it says you're overloaded. It doesn't matter if I got a two terabyte card or not. It doesn't allow it. So I need a laptop to get that straightened out. They got a new thing on PlayStation. I started searching around. I'm gonna try that today. It's for Sony. I don't think it's from Sony. It's probably the people, the, t the ones who are selling the tweak juice to the Sonyites and uh, so that they can get all their business. I don't know. I mean, I'm really, I'm really torqued off at this company. Uh, I had in the beginning, I had a really good uh, app from Sony and then in their infinite wisdom, we got a better one and you can't have the old one no more. Sorry, and they shut it off, so it didn't work. So you had to load this new imaging edge and it's been nothing but trouble. Constant, it takes longer. Even here with this Wi-Fi, I got, uh, I do speed checks on this phone. And they say, oh man, you know, this is super fast speed, wonderful. And it takes me two hours to upload a video. Give me a break. So, but uh, we did get some cool stuff came in. Uh, I got a, uh, small pressure cooker it's not a super expensive one uh got it at walmart i was in the store looking for the ones that go on the stove and all you can find is electric ones and the girl in there said just go to walmart.com and she goes we get them in here they'll be having them in again but they're like 69 bucks and she says you can go online and get them for 39 and of course when i went on there and i found the one for 39 they said oh well it's the last one. I think that's on everything they sell in this world. But uh, for that price, I figured I'd better buy it. It's a Faberware. We used it last night. I pulled out a big chuck roast. Hey, Maddie, was that chuck roast good? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was good all right. So we, we went ahead and pressure, pressure cooked that with the onions and the garlic. And then when that was done, we tossed the potatoes in there and the carrots for about 15 minutes and then just left the lid on it because he, he wanted to go to his buddies and I said, I'll just leave the lid on with the pressure valve on and uh, let it sit there. And when he came down about 45 minutes later, it was cooked to perfection and it, it, it was super, it was really super. Uh, the only bad thing about here is when you do let the steam out, it, it just fills the house full of steam, so I gotta find a place where I can put it. Uh, you know, cause it got my under hood little range fan thingy. It got that all dripping wet. I had to get in there and clean that. And uh, just a mess, but we're also hoping to do some hunting this year. Uh, see how we can do on some sort of rifle. Ohio here, they have a you can use semi-automatic as long as it's a straight walled case between 30 and 45 caliber. And uh, I'm like, okay, that's pretty cool. I would like to hunt. I still want to get Maddie out with this 22. We haven't done it, but we're going to have a cleaning day today. We're going to take the guns all apart, clean them up real good. Uh, I'm not a big one for oil and guns. You know, you just don't, you just don't do that. Uh, I tried to find some of the grease for the slide. You know, you put that stuff on with a toothpick. You know, you just put little tiny bits and it'll spread around. Couldn't find it. You know, all the stuff I used to use, these stores just don't carry it. So that's kind of a bummer. 
but uh, we had the uh, the other day my brother Steve said he took me all around shopping he, that was really cool he spent a good part of the day running me around thanks bro and uh, he said it's gonna rain and I says okay we got back to the house loaded my loaded my groceries in the fridge cut separated things up for the freezer and uh, my buddy Mike from Kansas he sent me a really good weather app and it shows you a 50 mile radius right or pinpoint right on this place where I live and then I got another one where I set up it's a hundred mile so 50 up 50 miles out in each direction you can see every little cloud creeping up mm -hmm, goofy and um, so it came on there and said it was going to rain at uh, 548. I think that's what the time it said. So when Maddie got home from school, we hurried up and we bundled the bike up under the blue tarp real good. And uh, the weather thing was wrong. It wasn't 548. It was 546. It started pouring. I mean, we got hit with a cloud burst. But Lightning, thunder, and everything. No, we came in the house, yeah. But I got a little wet because I was playing at the park, remember? Yeah, when you were at the park, yeah. He had to run in. He had to dart from the cover of the the monkey bars and all that into the door. And he said, I got a little wet, a little wet. He was soaked to his underwear. It was funny. But uh, he's being, he's being uh, okay. just a, yeah. He's being a fantastic kid. Uh, I still can't believe the difference in him since he got out of there. He wasn't happy there. He was like me. He just it, he just felt like he didn't fit. I think. No. You don't you don't fit in the Philippines. Do you want to go so. back there? I'll stay here. You go back. No, I'm not going back. Uh, no, I, there's no reason ever going to get me back there. And uh, now he's here. He's got lots of little friends. He goes and plays with. Uh, he runs around w waiting for the bus. He's got all his buddies. They come around. And uh, this is really cool. And uh, he, he's doing good. You know, me, I'm having a hard time kick the ball. I hope this heals up real soon uh, with these muscle spasms I'm getting so that, uh, you know, I can run around with him, kick stuff. I hope I'm ready before the snow flies. And uh, hey, Maddie, did you ever see snow flies? No. Yeah, they, they land on cat poop instead of dog poop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's my little guy. So uh, that's what's doing. Also, I want to thank my my beautiful sister again. I hope I can hunt with her husband uh, this coming season, but he's got a little health problem, so maybe, maybe, maybe not. But uh, she gave me a big old box of eggs, and uh, I finished up the organics the other day. And they got these real hard shells where you cannot bust these things open unless you break the yolk. That's how hard you got to whack these things to get them open. And then uh, the, the inside, the yolks are all like super light yellow. They're crappy. And well, we finished those off the other day. So this morning we had some eggs and it was the ones from my sister. And you don't got to keep them in the fridge because they don't wash all the stuff off. And uh, I cracked them. Boy, the yolks were super dark. Uh, they just had a real great taste. I mean, the, the, the flavor was there. So, sis, I really appreciate the eggs you gave me. I hope someday I could have a little hobby farm and uh, be able to keep chickens and stuff like that. So you can have eggs. But I had them before. Just let them, just let them eat in the woods. And they stayed around. And at nighttime, they go up in the trees. You know, and in, in the uh, cold weather, they'd go in the dog box, you know, <laughs> lay down with the dogs. But, uh, yeah, I hope that works out. But we're getting slowly together. We're getting things up and up and going. You know, it, it really takes a while. The kitchen's done now. I got everything I wanted for the kitchen. Maybe a knick-knack here, a knick-knack there. But I found some really nice, those three canister things. Somebody was, they put them in a box. They don't actually throw them in the garbage. They put them in a box and put them on the side. And I got some really nice canisters. And then I got some really nice glass jars with like the rubber seal on them. So we got some storage stuff. And uh, like I say, the pressure cooker, I, it's just gonna save me a fortune electric. 
our electric bill went from the first month from 23 this month to 48 so we're bleeding electric somewhere I don't know where I think it's this fluorescent light up here you know they they're not changing the lamp they're not getting me hot water in the in the sink I don't think they're gonna uh, that's just that's just their thing uh, I don't know why uh, in, turn that down please yeah, you can't have that playing in the background, Maddie. So, you know, even in the morning, I get up at 4 o'clock. I got no hot water in there. But uh, I found out how to get hot water in the sink, you know, closer to 7. I turn on the bathtub full blast, turn on the sink in there full blast. And when that starts getting hot, then I, then I turn on the kitchen. And within 5 or 10 minutes, I got pretty warm water in the kitchen. I'm just tired of heating it up on the stove. Why should I have to pay for that? That's probably where my electric's going. I shouldn't have to pay to heat water on the stove just so I can have dishwater. And uh, hey, I talked to some of the neighbors up here. They got no problem with their water. You know, the, the, there's a girl on the third. She's got hot water, you know, kitchen and bathroom all the time. Why me? Uh, you know, it's. I think there's some kind of Filipino demon in the building and they keep saying it's a part for the boiler well they've been saying that since I moved in in August because right off the bat I'm like hey you know I have no pressure in the kitchen sink no hot water and I said because it's not coming through the line fast enough well the the maintenance guy came in real nice guy I like those maintenance guys by the way they came in, put me a brand new faucet with a squirter. I got pressure out the wazoo and still no hot water. So they keep telling me we're waiting on a boiler part, waiting for on a boiler part. Well, I know down in the city of Cleveland, there's boilers that are over 100 years old. And those are up and running all the time. They got boilers here that are 50 and they can't find a part. Well, whoever procures their pieces for this place needs to be fired. You know. Go down to one of the buildings you clean, hey, ask for the manager, say, hey, where, where are you getting your boiler parts? Something. How can you have a boiler broke down for months? Months and months and months, and you can't find a part? I mean, there's gotta be some boiler guy that can come and put in a different part to do the same thing. I, I just don't understand, uh, you know, why they're, why they're dragging their feet on that one. but. That's the way she goes, but not not too much else going on. Uh, we're we're hanging in there. I hope this works. This video might be for absolutely nothing, you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. What do you say, buddy? Reach out. Thank you, guys. Don't forget to pray for each other. Take care. Mm -hmm.